Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Space Engineers. I am your host, Renovate. And in the last episode, guys, we did a little bit with our ship out here. We flew to our asteroid, which is 46 kilometers right there, and got some platinum. And what else did we do? I think we worked a little bit on our ship, rearranging it and whatnot. Um, and I recorded that about a week ago, so this is a week later. And I'll show you what's been going on so far. This is our ship right here. This is the only thruster so far that I have that are actually uh, done welding. So I got these three, that one. Um, I got, I think, this one on the side. The bottom ones are done, yes. And then I got one on this side. And then I think we have a few on the back that are done. Yeah, these three here. So I got uh, one, two, and then three, four. And I'm thinking about putting another one going left and right. Maybe even one going up. So we still got a little bit of, of work to do. Um, I added a, this missile turret uh, to the game. Or to the game. Yeah, I added it to the game. Added it to the top of our ship for defenses, since our ship really isn't built for uh, fighting. It's just regular armor. Uh, it's not the heavy. And then I did these uh, little azimuth antennas. These are pretty cool looking. When they turn on, they're green. Uh, we're only going to use the one of them, but I put two on there because it kind of looks kind of cool, in my opinion. And if we go inside... I don't think I did anything other than I, I did decide to go ahead and put the uh, cargo bay doors. Is that what they're called? Or not cargo bay. What are these called? Airtight hangar doors. <coughs> I did decide. Sorry about that. I did decide to go ahead and put these in. Um, but I did find a mod that we might go ahead and put into the pack. Um, that is... Um, it has like a like a force field that's an airtight force field so you don't need like doors or anything it's just like a line and when you pass through it uh, it's airtight so um, I did add these this is from the, uh, the interior door mod that we put in the game um, I just thought it looked kinda cool with some little pipes going up and then uh, nothing's changed in here not that I can think of. Nothing's changed up here. I did get the med bay in. I did put another cryo chamber in in case Link decides to want to want to join us up in space or anybody else, for that matter. Um, and then in this room here, I did get rid of because of this uh, thruster that's right here. I did uh, take apart our uh, reactors that we had there, and I just used it to build a, a larger one. So this larger one's going to get fed through this whole conveyor system and whatnot. And so, yeah. Um, they did... I'm recording this on... What is today? This is the May the 19th. So you'll know when this is uh, being recorded and released. But they did have a, a, a release or a patch yesterday, an update. And they changed uh, the way some of our blocks look. And one of the ones that I, I don't like the change is if we go to inventory the hydrogen bottles are now the same color as the oxygen bottles they're white so that's going to be a little bit confusing um, but i haven't really looked at anything else i don't see any changes here um i'm not seeing like that much of a change in the look looks of these blocks so i'm not quite sure um yeah, I'm not seeing that much change, but they did say they did, they did say they made some improvements on the block, so we'll just have to see. I'm not seeing anything that fantastic right now, but of course it is nighttime, as tip as usual. But look, 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 the sun is coming up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So what we're gonna do today, guys, is we're gonna build my fighter ship, and it's in my blueprints, and I think I'm just gonna build it like right here, and then we'll fly it out. Uh, but it is made of the harder armor, uh, the heavy armor, so it's going to take me a little bit of time to build it. So we're going to we're going to build a little uh, a projector right here, 
and then uh, I'll I'll just build it while we're while we're recording, and hopefully I have enough stuff to do it. I made sure that we did have we still got um, lots of plutonium in here, and it doesn't look like how much iron do I have? Let's scroll down here. There's no iron in there, and there's no iron in there, and there's no iron in there. Oh, there's some iron in there. There is eight thousand iron. Oh, there's 48,000 iron. We got plenty of iron. We got good. We're good. We're good. Um, but I do know that the heavy armor requires, I think, the the metal grids or something like that. So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's get started right away. And uh, I tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to turn down... I don't know if it's just me. I know I do this like every video. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit because it's a little bit loud in my headphones. All right, so what we got to do is we got to make a landing gear first, I guess. Um, all right, let's get a uh, let's get a landing gear going on here. We need to do a number seven, and then uh, that looks fine. Let's put it right there, and then let's weld that together. I'm gonna need construction components. You know what? It'd be nice if I could get access. Um. You know what? I wonder if we could just move our, our ship, that ship out there, and just park it in here. And well, that's okay. We'll just keep going back and forth. That's okay. And we'll go over in a cargo cargo container. Uh, we're gonna need construction components and all kinds of stuff. So let's go down here. I think it's in this other large container. Um. Let's see motors, computers, construction components changed. Steel tubes. Let's put all this away and this and this and I know I'm gonna need interior plates and let's go to production let's go ahead and make see they they did change the graphics on these so I'm gonna be kinda of confused on there's interior plates so let's make a couple hundred of those cuz the smaller ships use a lot of interior plate let's grab that out of there let's do that okay that should be good There we go. Okay, so what we need to do is do a number four and the steel plate. That's funny. We need to make a projector, and that projector, um, when we when we get it set up, is going to allow us to build our ship. So we need to go back into here. And where did we put all the steel plates? There's some there. Let's grab that. But I want to build it high enough so that we can we can build it correctly. Let's put that there. There, there, there. Let's see. Yeah, let's do that. And now let's go in here and grab our projector. Here's our projector block. And we want to grab that and put it here. And I don't think that matters which way this goes. It does have a like a little... You see how that one's got like little crosshairs on it? But the rest of them don't. Yeah, so let's put it like that. What's that need to make? We have everything to make it cool. Okay, so it doesn't have power, so we're going to put like a little reactor on it. So let's go ahead and grab a G. Let's do reactor, and let's do this like a little tiny 6.1. Uh, and drag that down here. Let's just put that there. We're going to need metal grids, and what else? I can't see it. There we go. Uh, lots of computers, metal grids. Let's go back over here. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, I don't see any computers. We do have metal grids in here, though. And we don't need any of that stuff. And we don't need, actually, our guns. So let's do that. And let's go down here to the bottom. I think there's a little block up here. Yeah, that one's the one I want to see. And let's scroll down. Uh, computers, construction components, I need motors though, don't we? I don't see any motors in here. can't believe I've used up all my motors. That's amazing. Okay. Uh, did the motors change? Nope. Do like 300 motors. And let's grab some of those out real fast while they're making them. Okay, I think I are overloaded on wheat. 
So let's build this. Uh, superconductor and reactor components. Alright, superconductor and reactor components. Uh, medical, gravity generators. Let's do this. And oh, I need to see if we have anything. Uh, medical components displays super conductors and looks like we're going to make the other stuff so we need what was it uh motors power cells reactor components uh let's do oh nope let's not do 100 let's do like 40 of them yeah let's do that metal grids and let's go back down here and grab our motors alright let's go back over here superconductors oh we need uh, we need more we need more, more computers All right, let's grab that. And where'd the computers go? Computers look like little plates. Maybe I didn't make any. I thought I did. Nope. All right, let's go to production. Uh, interior plates, motors, reactor components. All right, so let's make some computers. And they look like that. Inventory. And they are right there. So let's put the motors away. We need more computers. We need all those. And let's see. And we're going to need some uranium, which we have enough of that. Uh, super conductor conduits. I swear to God that I grabbed those. There. There we go. All right. Let's grab some uranium out of here. Let's grab some of that. Let's just put like four. That's all we really need. And let's go in here and put that on. Okay, so that's on. So what we wanted to do now is we want to click on this thing. I don't think you can actually click on it. So we'll have to go to like this. Go to control panel. We want to go to projector. And we want to go to blueprints. And the ship that we want is this one right here, the Cymbalta MK4. Um, that's my fighter ship. So we want to click on that and click OK. And let the computer like catch up with it. Alright, so that's pointing it straight up. And that's not how we want it. So let's go into here. All right, control panel, and go to projector, and we're gonna keep the projector, keep the projection. Let's see, horizontal offset moves it. I can't really tell. Yeah, it's moving it away from us. That's good. Okay, and then so let's, let's see where it put it. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> All right, so the horizontal moves it left and right. All right, so now we know. So we need to go in the projector. Let's try the vertical offset. Yeah, that's what we want. So let's move it back over here in front of us. So that is the bottom, and that's moving it closer. And then the forward offset is up and down. So let's move it up a little bit. And the pitch is left and right. So let's see. I'm trying to see. I can't remember which is the top. That's the bottom. And that is the bottom. Yes. So the yaw would be like this. And what are we looking at? We're actually looking at the top of the ship. Okay, and the roll. There we go. So that's the top. That's the way we want it right there. And it looks like, am I, is it just me or is it, no, it's good. It's good. Okay, cool. 
And then what we want to do though is we want to bring some blocks out here like this. And the reason we want to do this is because we want to be able to connect it to uh, the ship because we don't want the ship to fall. See how it already m it, it shows that? So you want that to show up like that. That way when we weld all this stuff together, um, it's not going to fall. So now what we can do is we can go in and weld all the little pieces. And the first piece we'd want to weld would be that piece and that piece. All right. So that's what it's going to do it's going to keep uh each it's going to keep the ship i don't know maybe we want to change that setting let's go in here and look at something real quick projector um key projection or show only buildable let's do that and show only buildable that's cool that way that we don't get so see when we do a piece we're not going to get ourselves into a situation where um i can't get to a piece that's inside so that'll work so we want to do that and what did we run out of? Did we run out of anything? Uh, what are we missing? Um, heavy armor slope. Uh, we need steel plate. Okay, so I'm going to weld some of this up real quick, guys. And um, as I get a little bit of it done, um, I will come back. You know what I might do, though? is I might just do like a fast forward thing here. So let me break right here. I'm going to do a fast forward and you can watch me build this thing. Be right back.
Alright, guys, so... Oh, I didn't want to do that. In order to grind it. There we go. Oh, I don't want that on my screen. Yeah, let's do, like, number four or something. There we go. I got it off. Um, so there's our ship. Um, if, if you watched any of my single-player uh, series that I did, I only did, like, eight or ten videos or something like that. Um, I built this very similar one and it was black. It kind of looked like the Batman symbol from the top. And basically I took that one and I just tore it down and then kind of reconstructed it with these new hella thrusters on it, which I love. And this is what I got and I just, you know, renamed it and this so it's it's version 4. And this is all made out of that that heavy armor as you can see, but it only takes like a steel plate and some metal grid. The only problem that I was having with using this projector is that right in this area right here excuse me there's a a bunch of gyroscopes on both sides of here and when you use a projector even though it's allowing you to you can pretty much weld through a block to a block that needs pieces i couldn't get those gyroscopes completed and i couldn't get to them without grinding some of this off and even when i did that when i got into the cockpit and looked it kept saying that i had gyroscopes that weren't uh complete or they said it was incomplete so I had to keep grinding all this off to get inside there so I could get them, and I finally got them all, so this is 100% complete. Um, I went ahead and put a, I think we got some in here, I don't know if I can get access to the top of this, I can't, that's a that's a reactor on top, it's turned over on top. Um, but anyways, I added a, a turret on this, and we also got some Gatling guns on the sides here. So it is a fighter ship. Hopefully it'll it'll last. I think I'm gonna take this camera off of the front here and maybe mount it somewhere else. I'm afraid that um, I'm afraid that when we fly, that's the first thing they're gonna try to get to. Uh, I might put some decoy blocks out here on the tips of the wings so it tries to shoot the wings instead of anything that's here, because uh, the uh, enemy will go after the decoy blocks first. So that might be what we do. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is my ship. So I am going to actually get into it first, and let's click P. Well, make let us go up. Yeah, well, all right. Let's do this. Let's get up off the ground a little bit. Okay, let's jump out of the ship. Make sure it floats. It floats good. All right, let's take that out. All right, good. So it's not going to like collapse on me or anything. So let's grain that off timber all right let's grind all this up I'm actually getting part of my base but that's okay oh, we got it oh we didn't want to do that so let's uh, do shift P click on that block and then put one there okay there we go. do that 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 okay does that all of them that's all. Okay, cool. All right, I'm excited, guys. Let's get inside this bad boy. Uh, let's get inside here. All right, so we are going to have to make us... Um oh, I love this thing. We are going to have to make us some um, ammo for this thing, though. Watch this. This thing turns on a dime, too, and it doesn't look like we're flying that fast. But we are flying... This thing picks up speed. If you look, it picks up speed quit pretty quickly. I mean, we're going 0 to 100 in like 5 seconds. So it's just the way that I guess that the screen looks. But you can, if we zoom out, you can see if I stop and then take off, we get out pretty quick. So, yeah. Well, that's cool. I love this ship. I really do. Uh, that's why it's version 4, because I had enough fails. But this thing can actually go up into space, too. And we can get, um, to meteors or use it as a scout ship or whatnot. But yeah, so this is going to be our ship. The only problem I have now is I don't have anywhere to freaking land it. So we're going to try to land it. We're going to try to land it inside our base, I guess. Let's see if we can fly in here kind of scared <laughs> but this is gonna uh, fit into the back of our big ship right there uh, never looked at it from this angle eh, it's kind of weird that front end look needs to be fixed but we'll leave it as it is all right let's fly into here 
and let's see. Oh, let's zoom in a little bit. We're like really far away. Oh yeah. Let's turn it around. You know the one thing I don't think I put on this ship was lights. I don't think I put any spotlights or anything. Alright, let's park it like right here. And we have connection. Yeah. Alright. Let's go ahead and set up. I don't know what this block here was for. It says landing, so that's probably the landing gear. Let's get rid of that. Um, let's see if we got groups for landing gear. We don't. So let's go inside and go to control panel. Let's click on all our landing gears. Landing gear, landing gear. Let's do this landing. Alright, so now let's go to G and go to groups. Grab our landing gear. We will put this, uh, let's put it here. Let's do, um, let's do lock. Let's see if we push it. We'll unlock it. Lock, lock. Yeah, we need to make two of them. Okay, that's fine. We'll do lock. And this. let's make this one lock and then this one unlock. Or it just says switch lock. We could have just did that, I guess. Let's remove that one. All right, so. Okay, automatically locks. What does it say down there, though? I don't know what that says. Ready to what? I have no idea. Ready to lock, I guess. Oh, it's because we're not we're not level. That's what it is. Unlocked. We just might might not be level. I think that's what it is because I think the front one is locked. Yeah, it is. The back ones aren't. I'm not quite sure. It's kind of an odd situation there. Um, but yeah, I do have another little turret here. Now this turret here, um, it's a Gatling gun, but this thing will actually shoot like if there's missiles are coming in or something. It's going to look for the missiles, and that's what I have it set for, is just to shoot uh, projectiles. And then um, if you want to look at, if you let me explain what's going on with the ship, this is a jump drive. So we do have a small jump drive on this ship. We can jump tiny distances. It does have a, uh, a reactor, a large one on it. It's got tons of gyroscopes on the inside. It does have an oxygen generator and everything inside. So if we needed to um, uh, get oxygen and refill our oxygen, we can. It does have a cargo container underneath. Uh, it's got four batteries. Um, it does have these atmospheric thrusters. These thrusters are pointing, uh, these here are pointing out. So these are going to be used in space. These will be used uh, inside the atmosphere. And then we do have some on the back. And then we do have a connector if we need it. But I'm not, the only thing I'm going to really need the connector for is if I make some ammo. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be using this ship to get anything unless we find some pirate ship or something out there that we could actually raid if we wanted to. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and set up uh, the reactor block and is this the reactor block? We have two reactors on here, so I need to make sure. I think this is the only one. I don't see another reactor block, so I mean, this is it. Let's do this. Toggle block on and off. So we'll do that and shut it off. And the, it must still be using... The atmospheric thrusters are using my batteries, so we need to go in here and set up our batteries too. So, let's see if we already did that. We didn't. So let's go in here and get batteries through batteries. Name these batteries. Save it. And then um, let's put these on recharge for right now. That will just turn them off. And so yeah, guys, there's my ship. It's the, uh, it's the Symbolta MK4. And... Man, we are getting really close to going, because that's going to fit into the back of here. It's going to sit right there, barely. And then our mining ship's going to sit back in that little that little container, that little cargo area there. And then I'm going to 
move uh, some other stuff over to here. So I'm I'm thinking that maybe either next episode or the the episode after that, we're gonna be in space, guys. We're getting really really close. I'm really getting excited, to be honest. I think I'm gonna paint that ship the same design as this with the little red stripe and this uh, this this gray color. So uh yeah guys that's been it that's this episode i hope you enjoyed it uh make sure you hit the like button make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you follow me on twitter so you know when i got some videos coming out and make sure you watch uh, everybody else that's recording on the server their descriptions or their links are in the description below check them out make sure you make give them likes and a bunch of love and all that good stuff and i'll see you next time guys peace